Hi, my name is Nick Raines. I shoot mostly documentary and travel work as well as being a Leica Academy instructor here in Australia. Now almost all cameras these days work in colour. Myself, I shoot mostly in colour, but for personal work I really enjoy the look of a good, rich black and white photograph. Now of course you can set your camera to create black and white JPEGs, but it still captures all of the colour information when you press a shutter button. Leica of course make a camera which only captures black and white images, or more correctly monochrome images, hence the name. The M monochrome captures only the brightness of the scene, not the colour, and so different colours are translated to different shades of grey, and it's the relationship between these shades of grey that gives black and white its distinctive look. Now here's the thing, if you want to alter the way the monochrome records different colours, you will need to use coloured filters in front of the lens. Take this green filter for example. It allows through green light in preference to the other colours, which is why it looks green of course. This means that any colours that are opposite to green will be recorded darker than usual because the filter is blocking them to a certain degree. And by opposite, I'm talking about the classic colour wheel where green is on the opposite side to magenta and blue on the opposite side to yellow and so on. The net result is that any green tones with a green filter will appear lighter in the final black and white image, but other opposing colours, pinks, magentas, etc., will appear a little bit darker. For landscapes and cityscapes, orange and yellow filters work well. Both block blue light, so blue skies will record as a darker shade of grey than usual, which emphasises the contrast and makes any clouds stand out even more. There are three colours in the Leica filter range, orange, green and yellow. Orange is good for skies, green makes foliage look a little bit lighter, and yellow is also good for darkening skies, it's just a little bit more subtle than the orange one. Coloured filters work well for portraits too. Skin tones contain a lot of red, and so will record a bit lighter than usual with either the orange or the yellow filters. Just be careful of the green filter for portraits because the results can look fantastic, but it's very unforgiving of freckles. And using the filters is simplicity itself. You just screw them onto the front of the lens as you would any other filter and shoot as normal. The in-camera light meter will take into account any exposure adjustments and you can preview the results of the filter on the rear screen in live view. So, coloured filters allow you to adjust the way the camera depicts different colours by darkening some and lightening others. Just remember that the filter lightens colours similar to its own colour and darkens colours that are the opposite of the filter's colour.